Alrighty, boys and girls. We are done. Let's go and uh, make our money. We got the second truck, just like the last one I did. Difference is, we're just going to go deliver this Monday and then. Uh, Go we'll pick up that wide load. Kind of sucks to have to work on uh, Christmas Eve, but when I look at the big trip we did and all of that, you know, and there's work to be done. It's not that bad. When I left Baltimore, I pushed, I thought was to get into Ohio, but then Ohio was going to do their little travel ban crap, so. I pushed all the way across to Ohio and parked at that Loves there and right, right at the Indiana Ohio state line in Eden or Edon, Ohio. That was Friday and a Saturday. No, that was set that was Friday. Oh, I think it that was Friday morning I got got there and got going. And then Friday sometime they had a big pile up on the on a toll road. I think it uh, exit 108. Four people got killed. I think like 46 vehicles involved. Honestly, I don't remember if it was. I think it was on the eastbound side. Obviously, we were heading west, but I'm glad I wasn't involved in that madness. But yeah, Friday, yesterday. We started at the Indiana line 
we did uh, the full length of Ohio on Thursday. Because I wasn't going to play with that restriction crap. And as you saw in the video, Indiana was quite vicious. take them apart and plug the batteries in um, and put them to my charger right here until they warm up they won't even accept the charge so it kind of limits me on the video production when it gets this cold it's supposed to be a high of like Five or ten above as Fahrenheit today up here. So I think by the time we get down towards Baltimore, it's going to be nice again or nicer. At least not this bone crushing cold. Now today wasn't so bad because it was daytime. So last night I came up to the truck stop quick trip up here and then I parked and slept basically I just shut shut uh, shut my alarms off and I just went to bed I woke up whenever the hell I woke up to be frank I only have two days to make it 900 miles I think I can make it equipment issues, we'll be fine. So I woke up, I got my uh, box of chicken and uh, they got these little, uh, they used to give them for free, these little bread rolls, classic white dinner rolls. They are good. I leaked out my chicken, that was my breakfast slash lunch so yeah getting getting uh, everything tied down and situated with the new truck um just worked a little bit go inside and sit down i uh, kept making sure that my gloves i bought uh, tire chain gloves which are really really thick they're not thick they're big oversized so i put my regular gloves on and then put the tire chain gloves on over that and i just tried really hard to I had the time to make sure I didn't get my hands cold or wet. Gloves get wet. And then your hands start really getting cold. Yesterday changing fuel filters, I felt like I had frostbite from the cold fuel. Speaking of which, I turn my fuel heater on. Then they turn it off when I'm idling. Wind 
Brady, look at that flag. Oh man, I got done changing the filters. I sat in a truck, I wanted to cry. My hands were so cold. Oh man, it hurt so bad for probably about five, 10 minutes where I started like not having pain. I actually pulled off to the side and laid down in the back. Let my feet cool off or warm, warm up and my hands warm up. I think about putting an electric heater in the footwell here because the heat ain't bad up in here. But when it's real cold and we're real windy, it can suffer a little bit. But your footwell, that gets pretty bad. So I think there's an electric heater coming soon for that footwell. Because we're loaded, I unfolded some of my canvas on the grill. See, it's coming up, but not bringing the fan on. If the fan cycles a little bit, that's okay. If it's constantly cycling, you better open up that canvas and let more air in. So yeah, yesterday coming through the bomb cyclone, we're all gonna die. Coming through that empty and an old cranky truck that don't like the cold we made it we got it done so we're here today saturday merry christmas eve for me by the time you guys see it, it's probably new year's we're pretty close good video. It's an interesting trip nonetheless. Now I'm debating how I want to run. Route, route wise, do I take uh, no, toll road straight to Baltimore, or do I take 65 to 70 and then just run the Pennsylvania portion from New Stanton to the Breezewood? I have the time to run that way. Don't know what the roads are like. I just don't want to pay Indiana toll road for an icy road when I could drive on another icy road for free and still make the same amount of time. That was the other reason I avoided the Indiana Toll Road on the way back is the toll road on Google Maps looked like it was all yellow and a lot of red, which means they're going real, real slow. So I'm like, if the roads are untreated and terrible, I don't know if I want to be in that. I'd rather be on a back road, that way if there is an incident, I can get around it. Or if there's an incident on a toll road, you're just sitting there and stuck. And I didn't think I wanted to deal with that. So my answer was, uh, stay on the back roads. That's why I did. That's why I went that route. It seemed to make more sense. I was thinking about stopping at the Quick Trip over here again. That's where I slept last night. But I think I'll press on all the way to the Loves. I got my salads at the Loves, so I think we'll press and get to there. Since I'm stopped at that point, I'll reset my cameras and 
look ahead and figure which trout I'm going to take. I need to get more uh, windshield solvent. I got plenty at the shop, but I didn't go to the shop. This wind is getting pretty bad. So I guess I'll pay the price in the loves. And get their stuff. I ain't really thrilled about it, but what are you going to liner was doing. boys and girls sun's setting getting uh sun's going down slowly Technically, what the other day was the first day of winter, so now the days are getting longer, not shorter. I like short days and long days. Here's the date. 
don't know, I'm more of a summer kind of guy. Pick it a litter when it comes to parking spaces. I don't know about when it comes to Monday night or not Monday night, Sunday night. Should probably still be alright though. I think. Uh, Gentry's video just came out today. He just got him a 379 that custom custom show looking truck. I'm calling it Sherbert. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, I'm watching that video. It makes me miss my 379 so bad. Could have been better though, but 